This is part three of my vintage camper renovation. We are finally prepped for paint and look at here, it is beige. Once everything was removed and taped off, I used epoxy primer and sealer as a base coat and then sprayed on an exterior high gloss house paint in beige and there is more details to come and yes, the tires will be changed. I immediately removed all of the plastic from the windows and then headed inside to get started on sanding the entire interior. And we're talking everything got sanded, cabinets, arches, ceilings, walls, everything. And then I had to clean it all. And before I can move on, I had to make sure that the sink fit, which I had to cut back a little bit, but look at this gorgeous copper sink. I definitely stood back, had a little happy dance, and then we moved on. Now that I was bringing in some pretty stuff, let's make this place pretty on the inside. So I started painting the entire interior, of course, another beige color. After I painted everything, I took a primer to the base cabinets and upper cabinets, painted them white because I was going to be doing this faux wood glazing technique to all of the cabinets. So I did that to all of the cabinet doors and drawers along with the base cabinets and upper cabinets. And now it's time to mix up our next surprise. We are doing micro cement across all of the other walls. I've never done this before, so keep following along to see how this turns out. 